everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Lodge. I am not in the craft room today. I am doing some Garbage to Gorgeous projects and I needed a little more space. So I'm in a building that doesn't have any electricity. So my lighting may not be the best. My goal is to take five pieces that weren't meant to be together and make them work. The chairs and the table were all from Craigslist and they were all free. The chairs are sturdy, but definitely need to be cleaned up and definitely need to be recovered. The old dining room table was poorly painted and it's time to give them new life. Let's start with stripping that paint. Whatever stripper you want, I personally prefer the citrus strip. It works like a charm for me and the paint and the varnish peel right off. The table's been stripped. It's about as lint free as it's ever gonna be. I used some mineral spirits to clean it off. It's dry. I used an ebony stain that has a polyurethane already in it, so that saves me a step. I then painted the legs with a white chalky paint and that took two coats. I sanded the tabletop and added a second coat of stain. One of the chairs had been broken and my husband was kind enough to put two tiny screws and use some nice strong glue on there and it's just fine. We're going to cover all that with paint. You'll never know those screws are there. You could spackle over it or put a little wood filler over it if you wanted to. I unscrewed the seats from the chairs and put them aside. I painted the chairs with a chalky paint. I did not prime them because the paint that I used didn't need it. I got stuck on a nail and well, look at my shorts now. I'm gonna find some new painting clothes. The chairs did take three coats. FYI, next time I'm spray painting my chairs. So what I need to do is just take on some of the edges, a corner where you would normally see some kind of wear and tear, and I'm taking some sandpaper. Sand until you start to see the wood, and I did this on the table base and all of the chairs. All right, so it's distressed. With a soft cloth, I waxed the chalk paint areas on the table and the chairs. I removed the fabric from the chair covers. Actually, my husband helped me a little bit because these suckers were stapled on like crazy. Remember to replace the padding if you need to. Select a fabric to cover your seats, cut it to size. I picked a duck cloth because it's very durable. Then staple the fabric, making sure that your pattern is straight and that it's all pulled tight. And just be sure to take a little extra time to make sure your corners are neat. Screw the seats back on the chairs and you have a beautiful set. So here it is all finished and it has a whole new look. It looks like it's supposed to go together and it's pieces that were never meant to be together. Let me know what you think of the transformation in the comments below. I was kind of going for a chic boutique look, and I really just wanted to show you that you can take different items that are even different styles and create something that looks like a set and looks great together, and you can do it on a budget. Now, if you like my Garbage to Gorgeous series, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and there are a bunch more that you can watch. Be sure to watch my other videos as well. We will see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe. Happy crafting and thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now I gotta go buy new shorts.